Number 12. The total surface area of the pyramid is what? And it tells us the base of the pyramid is a square with a side equal to 14 centimeters and a height of 10 centimeters. So if we want to find the total surface area, there's really two main parts. You have the slanted triangles on, on the sides, and then you have the square base on the bottom. So let's go ahead and find the square base first, just because that's the easiest part. Well, the area of a square is just the side length squared, which will be 14 squared equals 196. See here, 14 centimeters. Now for the slanted size, this is going to be a little bit trickier. But if you kind of imagine me cutting this pyramid, this is like a cross section of the pyramid. So this would imagine this is like the top of the pyramid. And then this is this down here would be part of the base. So it tells you the height is 10. And then this right here, this distance here, would be half of the side of the square. Yes? So imagine this is the apex, and I'm drawing it straight down perpendicular to the base. So actually, this right here would be the center of the square. And so from here to here would be half the side length, which is 7. And then we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find this side, which will just be the square root of 10 squared plus 7 squared, which is the square root of 149. Now, now what this tells you is the height of the triangles that we're trying to find on the outside. So one of those triangles will have an area of 1 half times the base of that triangle, which will just be the same as the side length. So 1 half times 14. And then multiply it by the height, which is the square root of 149. And there's four of those, one for each side. And then to find the total surface area, all you have to do is add this 196. You have to add the square part at the bottom. So let's see what this gives us. 196 plus 1 half times, I already forgot, times 14 times square root 149. Square root of 149. And then multiply that by 4 because you got 4 triangles. And when you do that, you get a surface area of 538. Yep, and that's answer choice E. All right, so if you have any questions from other tests, make sure to leave a comment, and I'll make a video with a solution. With that said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.